What's up guys, your boy here, Ryan, Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Today, well, actually I was uh, reclaiming some screens here, but I just realized that my filter system is full and um, I have to uh, replace the filter. So I know you guys had a lot of comments regarding my filtration system. So I'm gonna show you my DIY filtration system, I guess. So uh, let's get to it. Let this thing drain, but we're gonna pull this out. I can show you guys what's going on with this setup. All right, let me show you guys what's, what's going on. So this is the top bucket filter. That's the bottom filter, secondary filter. So what happens is, I just made a mess here, guys. Don't worry about the mess. So water just there. And it goes in here. So the majority of the sediment gets filtered through these. I just made a mess, so it kind of went through there. These are just five gallon. Let me show you guys. These filters. So those filters are these five gallon plastic strainers. So I put two of them in each bucket, and you come out with this. Okay, all the the heavy sediment will filter there, gets filled up, right? Then the water fills up, it goes through the hole. And usually I have a pipe. Usually I have a pipe like so, and it drains into this secondary filter. And this secondary filter filters out the rest. Right before it goes out here to my drain, which is this pipe down here. Does that make sense guys? It's only a little bit that comes out. It catches, I would say, I don't know, 95% of it. It's not totally 99%, but um, it's getting there. I think if I put another filter here, make it three filters, it will catch majority of it. But this is what we're working with. That's what it is. Let me go ahead and clean it up. I cleaned it off a little bit. This is a package of two, so we're gonna put both in there. So again, these are just uh, strainers, five gallon Home Depot bucket. I drilled the hole, okay. The only thing I gotta change here is probably add a screen or a strainer here. What happens is, um, like this is loose. So when the water is trying to move out of the bucket, it tends to bunch up in there and then it'll clog the hole. So I got a remedy for that after I put this second one in. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, then uh, we'll figure something else out. But as of right now, this is what we're doing. Okay. For now, for now, we're gonna use one of these river rocks. Just put it in there, all the way on the opposite end of that, and I think that'll be good. For our secondary, I left the uh, one of the strainers in there, and then we're gonna put two new ones on top. That reminds me, I gotta get more of those strainer things. So again, you can get this at Home Depot. That's it. Put another rock in there so it won't do the same thing that it's doing. All right, I'm gonna show you guys one more time. So from the drain, uh, the washout booth, it goes in here, it catches the bigger sediment, the bigger um, materials, the larger materials. And as the water rises up, it has to escape somewhere. So it'll escape through the pipe that I made here. I drilled the hole and it goes down pretty much like that into that cover hole over there. And then same thing, this thing will fill up and the water will escape out this way to the drain. I have the pipe drain right there. Okay, so we're gonna assemble it back together. Okay. 
So, like I was saying, water drips from the drain, comes down there, it filters the uh, larger sediments, comes out, goes in here, filters out whatever's left, little old sediments that got through, then out, and the drain. This actually is another pipe that goes down here and stretches all the way to that drain and goes out to the street. So when I moved in here, uh, this was just all dirt. I made sure I'd find a drain because that pipe, the storm drain pipe that goes all the way up to the, the roof, whoa, it's basically connected to that. That's why it comes out. But that is it, as simple as that. All right guys, well that's the setup. Um, I usually have a top uh, lid up there. But since it was uh, overflowing one time, that I didn't know why it was. Like I was telling you, the, uh, the screen was getting stuck in the hole. Um, I took it off just so I can fix it. But I think eventually, hopefully by the end of the year, I'm going to do something different. Another DIY, but something different. But as of right now, this thing works. It's working great. And I don't have to worry about it so much. Just changing the filters. All right, guys. Well, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Just me explaining my weird DIY bucket filtration system here. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.